Hello and welcome to MongoDB in 10 minutes or less. My name is Colin. I'm a solution architect at MongoDB. And today I'm going to walk you through connecting Terraform to MongoDB Atlas uh, and deploying a cluster. So to get started, you're obviously going to want to have a MongoDB Atlas uh, account created. Uh, and then you'll go ahead and create a project. So as you can see, I have a project here uh, that is empty. And so first things first, Terraform, what is Terraform? Why do we want to use it? Terraform is an open source uh, orchestration tool uh, that allows you to deploy infrastructure as code. So the ability to create reusable recipes, scripts, et cetera, to deploy uh, infrastructure such as a database, server, certain things like that, where you want to predefine a recipe uh, with certain configurations and then reuse that, uh, that recipe or that set of instructions. So for starters, we are going to have a couple configuration files or a couple instruction files for what we want to deploy. So the main ones that we're going to talk about today are going to be our variables file, where we can see here strings uh, that, are, that we're creating as variables. And then we're going to have a file with associations for these variables. So the public key, private key, et cetera, for the API, our project ID. And then finally, we're going to actually have the main configuration file, the initialization file, which is going to be our set of instructions. So taking these variables that we are defining and actually creating a you know, three node replica set, creating users, et cetera. So first things first, we can see here, we need our API access. So within MongoDB Atlas, you'll come up to Access Manager. You're going to select your project name, and we're going to go to Project Access. And then in here, we're going to go to API Keys and create an API key. So for this one, we'll just call it Terraform Test. And we will give the key project owner permissions. Great. So now you want to make sure that you notate this because the private key will not be displayed again. So go ahead and put down the private key in our configuration file. Go ahead and copy the public key as well. And let me just go ahead and save this off the bat. All right, so we have that saved. Now we can see our next parameter is going to be an Atlas project ID. So a project ID is not your project name. So you're going to come back to the root level of your project and you'll see these three ellipses here. And we're gonna to go to project settings. So here's where we host some of the metadata for your project. And we're just gonna copy this ID, come back to our config file, our recipe as I like to call it, and we'll put that in. All right, and then we are actually going to put in some parameters for the type of cluster that we wanna create. So cluster region, we're gonna go with AWS. So we're gonna do AWS US East one. And the provider name is going to be obviously AWS. Instant size is the corresponding tier that we want to deploy in Atlas. So this will be, we'll just do an M10 version. We'll go with the latest and greatest 5.0. Then a user. Uh, so we'll go ahead and define a username and password. So let's just call it Mongo user. And we'll just do Terraform for the password. All right, so give it a once over. Everything looks good. Go ahead and save this. And then now let's go ahead and bring over our shell. All right, so in here, uh, first we're gonna make sure that we have Terraform installed. And then we have the latest version. All right, great. So it's already installed, it's up to date. So now uh, let's go ahead and navigate to our folder that has all of our config files. So here's Terraform. Let's go ahead and do ls to list the uh, files and folders that we have in here. And OK, great. So this is everything that we needed. So what we're going to do is initialize Terraform. So Terraform init. And then now we can see that Terraform has successfully initialized. 
And then now before we actually push this configuration, let's go ahead and confirm what we're deploying. So Terraform plan, let's see what this plan is. All right. So now we can see here, there are a lot of different values or variables that we had not defined, uh, which is fine. This is very basic deployment. So we can see that we have 5.0. We can see our project ID. And then we can see some information about, you know, the actual corresponding tier M10 on AWS US East one. And it's a three node replica set. Okay. All this looks good. So let's go ahead. Terraform apply. Oh, and then one last thing uh, we can see here, here's our plan. Okay. So we are creating uh, or pushing out one item to add one item to create. Um, and we're not adjusting anything. So no changes and we're not tearing anything down. So nothing to destroy. So Terraform apply. It wants us to confirm. We'll go ahead and type yes. And we can see that it's starting to work here in the terminal. If we come back and we look at our Atlas project, we can see that uh, something is going on. So let's go back to the top level. And there we go. We can see that the cluster is being created. So I'm going to pause this video here and come back when it has deployed. Okay, so after roughly nine minutes, we can see that our cluster has deployed successfully. And now let's go ahead and take a look at it. So it looks like we're on version 5.0, deployed in AWS, US East 1, on an M10 three-node replica set. Okay, great. So everything deployed successfully. Let's go ahead and check our database user. Hmm. So I don't see Mongo user here. Now let's go ahead and come back, take a look at our configuration files and see why that, why that might be. So now if we look at our set of instructions here, so we can see that we have instructions for creating a shared tier cluster, but we do not have instructions for calling the database user and database user password variables and defining a role. So that's what the problem is. So let's go ahead and we're going to send a modification command via Terraform to this existing cluster uh, to create that user. So let me go ahead and pull over this snippet. Now, here we go. Create an Atlas admin database user. We'd see that we are calling these variables that we've defined in this file and that we are defining a role of admin for this user. So let me go ahead and save this. Now let's come back to the terminal and let's do another apply. All right, great. And so now we can see here that there is one change to be made and that we are pushing out this user that we've defined. So let's go ahead and say yes. And then I'll come back here momentarily when this is completed. All right, so this took about a minute and a half to deploy that modification to create a user on our cluster. We can see here that this also completed successfully. And we can come into our database access panel, see that our Mongo user is here and built-in role as defined as an Atlas admin. Okay, great. So from there, the last thing that we'll do just for sanitation purposes is we will tear down this cluster, say that we're done you know, testing on it and we want to go ahead and, and remove it so that we're not incurring costs. Terraform destroy. There we go. It's gonna ask us if we wanna confirm this process cannot be undone. So you wanna make sure that you are ready to delete the cluster before you push the command. And there you go, that's it. That was a basic uh, configuration and deployment for Terraform using MongoDB Atlas. Thanks for watching.